this is another installment of What's on Shane's Brain? Powered by Unicorn Tears. Not all unicorns will admit to the words stated here as being powered by their tears, nor do they believe or understand the statements presented by Shane Langley. Unicorns wish to remain a myth so that they may continue their secluded happy lives in their magical forest that is located behind 1573 Elizabeth Road, Wakisu Lake, Saskatchewan, Canada. So, Roosevelt University in Chicago is offering a course on the Occupy Wall Street movement, the protest that galvanized the insanitized. Professor Jeff Edwards and a student visited the liberal CNN to airbrush the movement. So I wonder if he thinks that all analysts agree that this has changed the discourse of American politics already. And it seems to be a movement that is going to have staying power, that's going to be around for a long time and have impact. All analysts agree that this has really changed the discourse of American politics already. And it seems to me it, it's a movement that's going to have a staying power that's going to be around for a long time and have some impact. It was playing out right across the street from our campus. And it's a youth-led movement, so I thought it'd be perfect for our students. Shocker. Now, I couldn't make jokes about the lessons he could teach from the movement, like how to turn a Burger King bag into a toilet, or how to convince a young protester to excuse a sexual assault just for the cause. But it's not that funny. Far better to focus on the real joke, and that's the one about to be played on America. See, people who teach history, they win. And right now, there's an ego-driven race to profit from the media lie that is Occupy Wall Street. Professors search for book deals, and young bedmates, and students will do anything for an A. But you need an accomplice, and CNN was there. During that interview, there was no mention of the 400-plus crimes which were committed at Occupy Wall Street, which did include rape. But at least CNN asked one tough question. And I thank you both for, for joining me. And, and on the record, Jeff, is Amisha going to get an A? I'm putting you on the spot. It's, it's, look, it's looking that way. <laughs> That way. Okay, that's pretty good, Amisha. You keep me posted. You let me know what happens. <laughs> Thanks, guys, so much. Appreciate it. Ha 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 ha. I bet you do appreciate it. After all, the media shares the occupier's belief that America is bad and the world owes you everything. Prediction. In a year, you'll see the Occupy Movement movie, minus the rape and the feces. And every actor, whether it be Michael, Sarah, or Anne Hathaway, will die to star in it. Because after all, the movement ignites the never-ending narcissism of the left. And if that doesn't make you throw up, then you're probably one of them.